Aries, welcome to your 2018 tarot forecast. It's Raina here. So as you can see, I've laid out the cards. I had to start over again. And um, I will talk about the position of the cards. This is a spread I created, especially for the 2018 reading. I have a companion piece to this, I guess you would call it, for love. And that is on Vimeo. The link will be below. It's a different spread, but I also created that one. And it's fun to create spreads because you have a sense of connection with it because you are the one dictating what each card means. And I think there is something special about doing it that way. Okay, so we're looking at past influences on the top row. And the first one is the Nine of Cups, which is a very positive card overall. Because it's cups, we're looking at emotions, and this is emotional satisfaction. It's wish fulfillment, and it is one of the most positive of the minor arcana cards. Uh, you could be seeing some kind of relationship that you wanted come you know, to pass. Perhaps in 2017 you met that special person, this could also be talking about someone that is a water sign, that has had a, a very good impact on your life. The usual suspect would be a cancer person, because you're both um, cardinal signs. But the other water signs are Scorpio and Pisces. It's very possible that this is a career situation maybe you got you landed your dream job because we do have right next to it this card of being very industrious working hard trying to perfect your craft this could even be talking about um, getting some specialized training so that you're able to to have um, a certain promotion and maybe that's what the nine of cups connects with for some of you this is the Eight of Pentacles. I think I forgot to even say that. But because it's Pentacles, we're talking about practical situations versus the Cups in the first card is more about your emo emotions. So this is about doing things the right way. And also, if you have just gotten into a particular career, you're really trying to learn the ropes, do a good job, or if you have your own business, it's a labor of love. So there's a lot of um, work involved, but it's it's something that you enjoy doing. It's not a chore. And you could be actually making quite a good living because the number eight is connected with um, success and power. Okay. So do I go in order? It really doesn't matter. I'm, it's just easier for me to do this. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of waiting to see if your crop comes in. <laughs> it's a farmer's card. So I, I always uh, say this looks like George Harrison <laughs> for whatever reason. But, um, well, I mean, because physically. But the idea behind this card is that you may, you know, going into 2018, some seeds that you have planted may still have yet to take uh, would we say root or, or, you know, come to their apex, their zenith. Maybe um, you have started your own business, Aries, and you are waiting to see if it's really going to come to fruition. And, um, you know, just to, just to say this, because I think it is important to say, Aries is the kind of sign that I think overall tends to work better for themselves rather than work for somebody else. And I think a lot of you, if you have a son in Aries, would agree with me. Sometimes you find yourself working for others, but it's not necessarily the ideal situation for you. Because, um, I was going to say, because Aries is uncooperative, but that's not... That was like in my mind, but really what I wanted to say is because you're a cardinal sign, so you tend to be very much uh, self-directed, so you don't need somebody to give you a, a push 
to motivate you. They used to have this a lot in uh, job uh, descriptions when I would look at the one ants and it would say self-starter and I don't I don't know why but that always like irked me the idea of the self-starter because to me if you're working for another person you can't really be much of a self-starter because you have to take orders uh, but I think it's because I personally have a lot of mutable energy and you guys are very much proactive okay and so if you are working for someone else, you may be a supervisor, and maybe that is a promotion that you got evidenced by the Nine of Cups. I don't know, but I just wanted to add that because with the Seven of Pentacles, I do think of someone who has started their own business in some cases, and they're trying to see if it's really going to work. Maybe it was, you know, it's something that you've just begun. Because this, when when you have the Seven of Pentacles, it's obviously something that you're you're not sure if it's going to yield the crop that you're looking for. And then we have the Devil card. Now, what the heck is the Devil card doing in this? The Devil card can be actually a Capricorn individual, and it's interesting too because the Devil card connects to Saturn. So um, Saturn was in Sagittarius, a fellow fire sign. And if that has any bearing on 2017 for you, Saturn in, in Sagittarius, if that helped you, if you felt it hindered you, I don't know. This would have been in your ninth house, and that has to do with issues surrounding your philosophy or some kind of, maybe if you had wanted to get an education, uh, I don't know if that would have been more likely. I think so, because of that Eight of Pentacles. But the other thing, too, I think this is more important, is talking about, if, if it is, maybe you have a Capricorn person, that's another usual suspect for Aries. So, but not necessarily all the time a smooth relationship, but just somebody that you may find yourself uh, being attracted to. But the higher perspective of this past influence could be that there's something that is still a compulsion, some kind of uh, tendency that you still need to eradicate. That, Or maybe you did... Uh, quit a bad habit in 2017 and that was kind of one of the highlights of the year. Now the second row is 2018 themes and I'm keeping it as themes and not like specific events happening to make it as broad as possible and as relatable as possible. One of them is the Ten of Wands or as my trusty Anthony Lewis plain and simple tarot plain and simple book says the burdens of success this could mean that you're working very hard at your career another card like the eight of pentacles that can indicate continuing to apply yourself being very um, very involved in what you're doing but it could be too much that there's an imbalance there maybe you are taking on the responsibility that doesn't a responsibility that doesn't belong to you in the workplace or even in your personal life and that could be um, something that you have to look at it's also possible that yeah in your personal life if you have a relationship where the other person is not really Com doesn't seem committed or in interested as much as you are and you just keep trying to make them engage you, that could be something you need to work on in 2018. And actually, now that I think of it, there's two cards that suggest possibly leaving a uh, situation that is full of turmoil. Um, this one specifically. And I wonder if for some of you it is an air, an air sign, because you do have these two swords. So 
your opposite sign Libra perhaps or maybe um, Aquarius and the other air sign is Gemini but um, this is about uh, choosing peace going to calmer waters for Aries this is a very significant uh, decision because you may be the type uh, a lot of Aries people kind of feel activated when there's some kind of conflict and it's like you started it all ended for you you know and you almost like feel the sense of um, having a purpose when you have something to fight for but even you may feel that something is really sucking the life out of you and it's possible that you have been working very hard in the past for a job that pays a lot and maybe the devil card is is indicating that but you don't see see the the seven of pentacles is like where is this be really benefiting me maybe it's like you're maybe there's like a carrot and a stick where where you're being told that if you if you like improve your skills if you do this if you do that you're going to get a promotion and it just never seems to come about and you may decide I'm done in 2018 so that that uh, six of uh, swords and the ten of uh, wands may point to feeling like overwhelmed and deciding to leave and you may even like move physically relocate the seven of swords is a card that indicates you you might be um, going and doing your own thing so for some of you you may have tried to conform to an office a, a business expectation and it's like constantly out of reach you're being promised a lot but it's not delivering what you want with the seven of pentacles it, you have to be patient and Aries people are not necessarily known for patience but maybe you have wanted something very badly and thought hey this is really going to pay off in the long run and you're left with little to show for it so you're out of there but the seven of swords is like you're kind of sneaking away you're not trying to um, to like be blatant about it because you don't want to burn any bridges you don't want any kind of blowback in some cases this could be a a marital situation um, and it, it could be either way you could be the one that is on the down low or your partner I, I, I wouldn't even be surprised if it's you because of that devil card where you're embroiled in some kind of an affair and or and you may not be married maybe you're the person you're with is and you decide to end it because it's just getting to be too much and but it's interesting here we have the temperance card so we're talking about it right right um as a 2018 so some someone getting sober somebody sobering up maybe realizing that you know getting away from a bad um air you know environment influences that adversely affected your life in some way and that could be very important um, so maybe maybe some kind of addictive or obsessive tendency follows you into 2018 but you are able to conquer it a lot of a lot of Aries people I feel of all the signs are trustworthy because I feel they're very real very direct open and honest on a, on a very basic level however if that devil kind of gets a hold of even an Aries person they may do things that they normally wouldn't do but the temperance card shows that balance will probably prevail at some point and also if this has nothing to do with addiction uh, the temperance card may be that you simply want to 
have more out of life. And like the, the Ten of Wands is like somebody who's almost like a workaholic. And you, have, you may move so that you have a different lifestyle, one that doesn't require as much money. Like, for instance, you're living in the city and you move into a place that's, um, you know, has a slower pace and a lower cost of living. And so you don't have to work as crazy hours anymore. So the, the third row is people, places, and things that may be influential for you in this coming year. The Six of Cups. This could be um, somebody from your past, especially if it's a romantic association. Um, they may come back into your life. Maybe there was the one that got away and you hear from them. Perhaps you hear from them at the end of 2017 when we have a Mercury retrograde. But there are several uh, retrogrades in 2018, and I think one of them is in mid-April or something. So it would be during the uh, Aries. So you may hear from somebody back then, in what well, I'm saying back then, uh, during that time. And um, this is somebody from your past. The Six of Cups could be a card about children. So if you're, ha if you're raising children, maybe you're working with children in some capacity. And also soulmates. So not just somebody from your past, but somebody who is a soulmate. Um, and who you're meant to be with. That is part of your life. And I think I've had like a couple of readings in December for Aries that involve reuniting with somebody. So that might be the time when that happens. The next card is Three of Wands. So this may mean that you are traveling more. With Saturn leaving that ninth house, you may feel more free to move um, when it comes to long distance locales. Maybe things fell through for you in 2017, with, or no, going back to 2015. Maybe there, you've been wanting to take a long distance trip and things have never worked out. And now that Saturn is gone, it's allowing you to resume uh, long distance travel, but this is also just the card of dreaming big. It's possible that you meet somebody who helps you. I'm just thinking of being influenced positively by somebody who kind of expands your sense of what is possible in life. And um, it could be like a life coach. Maybe it's a fellow fire sign, another Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius. If you have a business, you may be like expanding that. And here's the other card, world, the world. This could be a card of traveling long distance. So with that three of wands, some of you, especially if you have the kind, if you do contract work or if you are if you have like some kind of a product that you want to introduce to an overseas market, you may be doing traveling. Um, perhaps you meet somebody either from a foreign culture or you, or while you are traveling, you f you might fall in love with somebody who is a soulmate, but they're coming from a totally different, you know. Uh, Climate, well, I mean like a culture is more like it. And then the death card. So the death card indicates some sort of, uh, well, it's, it's connected to Scorpio. People, places, and things. So Scorpios. People who, people maybe you kind of like um, are done with a lot of, your social circle even. So maybe the people in your life, a lot of them no longer really f f you have some kind of um, resonance with. And, you know, Aries has Uranus transiting through your sign. 
So I can't remember when Ari when Uranus went into Aries. I believe it was 2000, either 2000. I think it was 2011, but I'm not really sure. Let's just say at least the last six years or so. It will be in 2018 going briefly into Taurus and then going back into Aries until 2019. So for all practical purposes, it's going to be in your sign for another year until 2019. Now Uranus can indicate sun shifts, okay, sudden events happening. And some of you may totally know what I'm talking about. You may have experienced this. And it, it can be like a, maybe you have a total change of heart when it comes to people that you have associated with. Maybe you've changed so rapidly that you no longer feel like you belong in certain social circles. Now let's look at the challenges or the pitfalls of 2018 for you. Just trying to think, okay. <laughs> right. I don't know why I put these on different levels, but I did. One of them is the chariot card. So, so anybody who's a Cancer that you may have been involved with, it's possible that this person doesn't bring out the best in you. You may have uh, power struggles, and both of you want to rule the roost. They may try to uh, curtail your freedom, and it feels very suffocating. Likewise, look out for any tendency to be uh, chaotic in your life. Make sure that you are, or try to practice meditation. It's something that is a challenge for Aries people because you're very, very active and you're not necessarily the type to sit still. And that, this is, that's a broad brush, obviously. So you can, you can uh, rest your fingers on the keyboard. You don't have to write to me and tell me that you have been meditating for 10 years because I know. I mean, I when I went through some of my yoga teacher training, um, which I didn't end up getting certified, but I had two assistant teachers that were both Aries, and they were wonderful. Very, very enthusiastic and positive, bright women. Uh, so you are capable of this, and you're capable of meditating. It's just that a lot of you... Are, are very interested in just experiencing what the world has to offer. Going within can help you to tame your thoughts. The chariot is like uh, the charioteer, I think that's what they call the chariot driver, is taming his mind because he's holding on to the reins of the horse. That's kind of the what it all stands for. The king of pentacles can be... In the, I'm, I'm reading this as a reverse card, as a challenge position, that you allow money to get the best, or you know, just like I was saying with the um, devil card, that you allow materialism to get the best of you. That that um, you know, they talk about the love of money is the root of all evil, and I don't think that lo loving prosperity is wrong. I would say lust and wanting it maybe to for your ego's sake, not for anything to help people or anything like that. Also, you know, judging other people based on how much money they have. And um, conspicu <laughs> conspicuous consumption could be also... Uh, part of that, buying things, how, how, what is that um, term, the nouveau riche, the people with new money who want to flash it and they're very tacky about it. Knight of Wands, the tomcat mentality, uh, kind of tomcatting around, not a lot of um, 
you know, letting lust get the best of you and being afraid of commitment. If you meet somebody, which you might, back to here, you might meet somebody who is a soulmate, but you're still tomcatting around. And uh, that's definitely a card I personally associate with Aries. And they always tell people when they're reading cards to form their own associations. But I have to say that it is associated with Sagittarius, which happens to be my sun sign. So I do think that all fire signs at times can be afraid of commitment because we love freedom so much, don't we, my fellow fire signs? So being too afraid of commitment can lead you to discard somebody from your life who is a really good person for you. Okay, so the advice. Hey, there you go. I hooked you up. This is a spiritual card. So again, with this, you know, contacting your higher self, seeking that inner wisdom that is not found in the world, that is not found by going online or by talking to people, but only by communing with your higher self, connecting with your higher self. Um, the High Priestess is um, a card that is about your intuitive capacity. With Uranus in your sign, that might be heightened. And you may be feeling more like aware of things that you normally took for granted. But regardless, maybe it's time, Aries, to start a meditation practice or to go somewhere where you can learn how to calm down more. And the outcome is the Ten of Cups, a card associated with, um, just like that, you got the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups, wonderful. Card of family harmony, joy, you know, the pot at the end of the rainbow. And um, I'm talking about the pot of gold. <laughs> and um, just every good feeling that you can have. It's also associated with prosperity. So something comes in. Maybe you meet that person, this this um, this soulmate that turns out to be marriage material, somebody that you can uh, see growing old with. And if you're already old, getting even more ancient with. And then um, also the Empress. This is a card associated with the Divine Feminine, also creativity. Some people, maybe some Aries people, are going to conceive in 2018. Maybe we've always wanted to be a mother. This is the card of the, of the Earth Mother. So this is a card also of abundance. So with that Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups, wow. Aries, just wow. So awesome cards, awesome uh, forecast. If you'd like a private reading, please click on the link below. Otherwise, all the best to you in 2018, Aries. Take care. Bye.